de tabla. cross between the guitar greats John McLaughlin and Jerry Garcia. <laughs> well, uh, uh, being a cross uh, is something which I would not agree with. But yes, uh, there is this very uh, famous and noted uh, art critic in New Zealand who, who talked about it like this, that uh -huh. my guitar lines remind uh, you of uh, Jerry Garcia and John McLaughlin at their best. It was a fantastic quote. I was really, uh -huh. really happy to read that. Uh -huh. But um, uh, being a hybrid, I mean, a cross <laughs> between the two, I, I am quite skeptical about that. It's a double-edged quotation over there. But I believe you've never actually trained in the guitar. I have never been trained in music, leave aside the guitar, <laughs> yes. But then how did you learn the basics of the guitar? Uh, probably just observation, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. I believe your guitar playing is influenced by rock, jazz and Hindustani classical music. But what makes your guitar playing innovative? I think my biggest influence has been from Indian classical music. Uh -huh. so I'm sure rock, jazz, and various other beautiful folk mm -hmm. music and mm -hmm. other kinds of music has um, uh, definitely they have uh, mm -hmm. uh, influenced me somewhere down the line. Mm -hmm. But uh, Indian classical music, the especially you know, I grew up at a time when uh, the, the the you know f the, there were four musicians who I consider probably some of the top most musicians on earth ever mm -hmm. were playing at the uh, yeah. peak. You know, there was Nikhil Banerjee, there was uh, Ali Akbar Khan Sahab, there was um, Bhim Singh Joshi, Malik Arjun Mansoor. Mm -hmm. And I got to hear them live, and not just once or twice, mm -hmm. probably five, seven, eight times, each one of them. So that kind of changed my life, and that, that really, really uh, made me look into music in a very different way. Mm -hmm. Not the way I picked up the guitar and started playing some very popular, you know, Beatles and Bob Dylan and this, that and so on. Mm -hmm.